Fulham versus Bournemouth. Fulham at plus 139. Bournemouth at plus 187. Fulham draw no bet is minus 136. Draw at plus 256. This is a this is a coin flip for me. I think there's goals in the game because the over two and a half Quaku is at minus one thirty nine. Who are you favouring? Fulham versus Bournemouth. Both of them are, uh, I would say, above average in form at the moment. They are, but I with Fulham, I just view them as there's always a danger of Fulham that they could sleep all the way into into a relegation battle and despite the fact that they are a mid-table team right now um Luton who are in 17th are only six points behind them so it's very very tight at the bottom and a couple of results go right and you're dragged right back into it and I've not necessarily been the most impressed with Fulham this season um they're a kind of team that goes under the radar because people do expect them to stay up and you expect the, there to be three worst teams of them in the league um but they haven't won a game for a long time um last time out they drew against Burnley but before that in the league, they haven't won um, since they beat Arsenal on December the 31st over a month ago. I know there's been breaks, I know there's been other competitions, um, but this is a fun team that hosts Bournemouth, who we all know can be very, very dangerous on their day. I expect this one to be a very, very close game. It's hard to pick them. That's why I've left this one alone. Um, but Fulham at home, I feel, should be slightly favoured, but Bournemouth are always a dangerous outfit. Yeah, I think you you have to lead the money line well alone, and it's all about the goals. Uh, Marco here, I think Fulham, yes, they could win this. I think Bournemouth could win this. But one thing I don't see is clean sheets, because I think that both of these sides are going nice, to have a nice football match, and they're going to create chances at both ends. And it's just who takes, their, takes them. And maybe the 2 twos are an offering, yeah? Yeah, absolutely. Um, Fulham will be really pleased this game's back at Craven Cottage. And I know there's an ongoing fallout between the supporters and the club over ticket prices, which has provoked a bit of a protest. Um, but on-field performances at Craven Cottage has remained pretty strong for Fulham. Uh, it has been their bread and butter, really. And um, yeah, Marco Silva will be relieved because that's not the case away from home. Um, last weekend, obviously, they squandered that lead against the worst home team in the division, Burnley. They've not won away from home since the opening day. Uh, Leno and Castagne kind of contributing to the defeat at Turf Moor, but, um, or the draw at Turf Moor. But, um, yeah, that game ended in a, in a fun 2-2 for the neutrals. And um, their previous home match against Everton was 0-0. But if you look beyond the final result, as you always should do with football, and the match was actually very similar to that at Burnley. It was just all-out attack from both sides. There was an enormous shot tally, a huge expected goals figure. Um, and that's been the way for Fulham in the last couple of weeks, uh, despite some of the scorelines suggesting otherwise. So, yeah, I would completely eradicate the, the nil-nil from, you, from your brains and just look at the, the actual shot data from that Everton game. It was it was bonkers, really. So um, I'm hopeful we'll get something similar here with Bournemouth, who definitely know how to deal in goal-heavy games. They're always impressive, always looking to try and win games themselves under Iriola, who definitely plays with a sort of risk and reward strategy. And often it does provoke high scoring matches. They're, they're fun to watch. They're aggressive. They're bold. And they'll come here and try and play. They failed to score just once in 14. I think that was at Anfield. Uh, they scored in 10 of 11 away. They've only managed two clean sheets away all season. Eight of 11 away. have seen both teams scoring, including trips to, to Man City. So, yeah, I expect them to score here. But I also think Fulham have the ability to oblige against a, a Bournemouth side who do give you opportunities too. So both teams to score a big runner. I'm going to take that, but I'm going to combine it with both teams to be carded, which gives us a plus 100 shot here. Um, basically, the Premier League's best card giver is on show here referee darren england he's averaging 6.07 cards from 14 league fixtures he's given four or more cards in 12 of those 14 fixtures Bournemouth have been booked in 87 percent of league games bournemouth in 91 percent so i think combining that with both teams to score gives us a really nice price at plus 100 yeah and yet on paper or just to the naked eye fulham and bournemouth it's a nice pretty football match where you can have it we'll have it with little five yard passes uh, around the corners and yet all of a sudden darren england's turning up and we're looking at cards um and then so that means you can then maybe scale it down and go for some individuals if you go to the prop builder let's have a little look at the official picks because i think three points on offer here for the home side or the away side let's have a little look at the official picks because i've gone with both teams score and over two and a half goals not caring who wins minus 105 uh, okay both teams and both teams so both teams to score and both teams over 0.5 cards at plus 100. So a 1-1 one, one with a couple of bookings for each, or just the one booking is at plus 100. Got creative there, Marco here. 